Christian and she beat. I got a freak elite like Pablo Pete. 980, the DO4 is where the Charlotte leaks. 252 for the Greenville. Hat on blue for the Tar Heels. I can edge them on this paradox. I crack foes, light the locks. We knock both, shen and notch. Now I know money talks. How I can't even announce my parents' script. The race to Cause when this ball point to close, my mental travel hell is watch. Like astro projection. Cannot conjoint the two of us if there is no connection. But you can close section. The NCB, the NCB. The NCB, the NCB, whoa, whoa. Okay, Mr. Jackson, I love you, Mr. Jackson, for real, I do. <laughs> I almost got away if it wasn't for that goddamn Gerald Jackson and the NCB mob. I almost got away. Got to be more careful. Testing one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Let me see if my mic on. Let me see. Oh, y'all can hear me good on tonight. Send them dollars in. Hold on. Send them dollars in on tonight. I ain't moving this motherfucking show until everybody in here under the sound of my voice send a dollar on tonight. We're going to do what the goddamn church people do. Shout out to everybody that's tuned in tonight. It is a dollar to get in. So go ahead and send your dollar on tonight, okay? Go ahead and get your dollar on in before we get started tonight. Because hoes mad at us because we trying to figure out why your crazy ass fussful going around stealing people's uh, deceased children's photo. Instead of just coming out saying, I have miscarried. But we're going to get into that tonight. We also going to talk about the girl that had acid threw on her by her sister. So go on and fill your cups up. So tonight, Mr. Jackson is not moving on this store. Let me see how many cash up. Let me see, cuz everybody be like, Gerald, go live. Gerald, where you at? You said you was going live. I thought about it. I thought about it in my spirit. I thought about it in my spirit. I said, uh uh, Mr. Jackson, you will not go live again until the people. See, this is the problem. This is the problem I have with these hoes that are becoming. And I'm not talking to the people that normally support. Let me tell you something. These content creators, we out here in these streets and we give y'all laughter because y'all be going through. We go through and we go online and we look at Miss Netta and Charles and we happy again. <laughs> you know, we have to work for this. You know, all this mouth and this cussing that y'all love and this dragon that y'all love. We this this costs work. This shit ain't free. Ain't that right, brat? This this, 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 this is not free. This is entertainment. So I said, well, listen, Gerald, you don't have to go live because I can sit at my office and my, my desk and I can work on store. That's why I'm so behind because I keep coming live. I'm, I'm about to stop going live. I'm going to go. I'm going to go about a whole, a whole three months, every fucking four or five months. That's when y'all going to see me unless it's a breaking story because I take away my time when I go live to work on these other stories and stories that I even go live about that I can write about. Y'all know we don't roasted the dress man down to the ground. That's been what a week ago, week and a half ago. That story supposed to have been up on the blog, but I come on here and I give y'all entertainment. Yes, I'm rebuking on tonight. It's a rebuke on tonight. You can leave if you want to. You can unfollow because it's going to be another drove of people. They're going to find out about Mr. Jackson. They're going to be like, oh, Mr. Jackson, oh, we love you, Mr. Jackson. We don't want you to leave your house. Stay live. We get. So I said, well, I can sit on my computer and my desk and make more money in an hour than I can when I go live. <laughs> And this is just not for me. This is for any, any, any content creator. This the cash out right there. It's right in front. This for any con support your content creators. Support your content creators. Support people that you love. Y'all go to work every day and flip them burgers. <laughs> flip that damn burger. Them hoes telling you to flip a burger and you ain't been paid yet. I wish I would flip a motherfucking burger and you ain't cash, you ain't drop no money in my bank account. This shit, everybody, 
let me see how many let me see how many cash apps let me see how many cash apps tonight because y'all need to support these content creators because these people these people these people work hard to bring y'all laughter they bring they work hard to bring you laughter and bring you entertainment support these people it's it's a dollar to get in <laughs> it's a dollar to get in y'all think i'm playing with y'all it's a dollar to get in tonight it's this entertainment. See, now the only time you ain't gonna have to send a dollar is when I'm bringing these stories that's, you know, these these parents and these mothers and these interviews. But this entertainment shit I'm gonna give you tonight, it's, a, it's gonna cost you a dollar, baby. They said, Gerald, you need more pay. It's gonna cost you a dollar. So when I go live, y'all support. Act like you want the baddest blogger on the internet streets because I will go blank. I don't have to go live. I will write, 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 and you hoes will catch me on the blog. Because, you know, can't nobody out here in the entertainment streets. Can't nobody roast like this. They just not funny as hell. They don't be saying no real shit. They got to walk fine lines and stuff. We're going to be the church people. So, uh, shout out to everybody on tonight. I got my personal goal in my mind. Before I move on tonight, you hoes breaking the speed. And you know what? It's a shame that you hoes ain't got no dollar. How the hell are you watching me on the night? Don't you got to get up Monday to get you to pay your phone bill? Yes, we right up night. Cut this video, bitch. Come back in 20 minutes, old, because I ain't moving until y'all pay for this guy. Shout out to everybody. You know what? I'm going to do something for my, my, my gifters because it'd be one person that carried a whole weight for you hoes. Stop sending all your money. Them hoes ain't broke. Them hoes got a dollar. They keep giving that dollar to that man. They're running around here taking people photos off other people's Facebook pages and stuff. You know, uh, I just don't know what to tell my baby that you tell him you lost a baby. You tell him you had a miscarriage. That's what you tell him. You don't go disturb the, 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 gr the grieving and the healing of another family because you scared and you got your family all online trying to go to bat for you. Sit the fuck down. Y'all hoes know she was stealing that woman's photo. Now everybody that got a wind of it and I got a hold of it. You hoes want to come on the internet. Talking about, Girl, what does you talking about? Okay. 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 And to these cash apps, look half the amount of people up in this one. Who back, Felicia? Oh, let me sh shout out to everybody that's tuning in tonight. Drop your city down in the chat on tonight. Patreon members, y'all might as well go ahead. If you a Patreon member, subscriber, you know, y'all y'all go ahead and get ready because the baddest blog is coming to Patreon. Y'all already know we're going to be live on Patreon. every Not this Friday, starting next Friday. I'm going to get the subscription up. We're going to be live on Patreon behind the paywall every Friday night. Because there's some stuff that I be wanting to show and I be wanting to talk about. And these hoes love to report. You know what I'm saying? They love to report your page. And they love to report your pictures and stuff like that. And I just got a lot of stuff. I still got to drop this tea on Travis Jennings. Talking about these the, the niggas in his church. There's a lot of stuff. I done got caught up on a lot. Oh, thank you, Lord. I done got caught up on a lot of stuff. I done got caught up on a lot of stuff. Let me check my cash app account. Shout out to everybody that's... Oh, y'all cash... Oh, y'all love the man. It's longer. That... Okay. You can screenshot this shell, post it, bitch. Yes, I said, ho. Because you, you done stole all Miss Holler's money and you ain't did shit. You still getting online and you ain't did nothing. You won't even show no goddamn video. You know what? I was supposed to get shell tonight because her brother... And her husband did a video about me. And I was supposed to get them, but I said I wasn't going to talk about you hoes no more. But I feel, I see, it seems like the longest I roast shell, the mad they make y'all. So I'm not even going to address you punks. <laughs> you know, because, you know, if you want me to, if you want me to, I'll address you. I will have a whole gifting show for your motherfucking ass. I'll go buy every fleet, every two sided deal dough every diaper and i would take it out the bag and present it to your ass right on live see i know how to gag you hoes. i know how to make the shit spicy 
and I'm gonna tell you what you what you what you and 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 Ka can go do. You we ain't seen you pick up a leaf. Shell, we ain't never seen Shell stop on the side of the road to help no damn body. But she always wants somebody to help her. So tonight we're gonna talk about the girl that got uh let me see what these cash apps looking like. Okay, I think 60 more dollars will be will 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 match. We'll match because this, you know, because I got I still got work to do. Let me see. I will refund all these dollars back and hit let me let me start refunding these dollars back. Let me see. You get your goddamn dollar back, you let me know. They like Joe, don't do us like that. Shout out to all the real subscribers out here. I'll be coming over here to get my tea. Send a dollar hole. I need something to eat when I get off this motherfucker. Like, I'm like, shell, can y'all send me a dollar? Somebody screen record this and send this for they can use. <laughs> send me a dollar. Oh, please. Can you send me a dollar? I didn't want to give me a cheese bird, please. You know, instead of this girl going over there to my can I please use your baby's picture? You went over there and stole them. But the answer would have been hell no. Anyway, now this is a serious story. So let me give y'all a little backdrop. Let me see what these cash apps look like. Okay. Okay, y'all paid for one story on the night. Y'all paid for one story on the night. So I'm going to give y'all one story on the night, and it's going to be the girl with the accent. So word on the curve. So listen, let me tell y'all about the story. We're going to talk about it on the night. No, I'm going to give you all the story with the girl that used the, the, the photo uh, because that's what the title of the video is. North Carolina woman used the photo of another mother's deceased son to announce her own child's death. Now, let me tell you about this story right here. And then I'm going to tell you about the other stories that I think we might do. Um, this first story is coming from Robinson County, North Carolina. Where this girl done lost her mind. She want everybody to believe something wrong with it. And I'm so sick and tired of y'all keep telling people that they got mental illness and mental health. Everybody want to run to the internet and help their loved one and their families and their sisters and their brothers when them hoes done went off the deep end. But you knew the signs. You knew your sister was crazy. You mean to tell me you grew up in the house with her all these years? And you ain't know not one time that your mama told us, don't touch that eye, ta Tahoe. Don't touch that eye. And she still touched the eye. Let me tell you something. Some of these people just hard-headed. Ain't nothing wrong with them. They ain't crazy. Y'all don't call these little kids crazy when you tell them don't do something. They still do it. You say they hard-headed. But now you got this grown-ass woman that know how to log in on Facebook, know how to go to somebody's page, know how to text somebody, know how to tell a lie, 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 multiple lies, ain't never told the truth, done went and downloaded Pregnancy Plus app and done screenshotted them folks, 3D ultrasound photos, and she done left that app scrolled up if she got an iphone she probably got a droid but she done scrolled up went back to facebook but everybody slow high off that shitty booty crooked body shamar shark bite looking like netta in the face slow like charles crying like lizzo i could everybody y'all just you know what? See, when you do stuff to people, that shit come back to bite you in your ass. Okay, let me see what these cash apps look like. All right, we almost there. Okay, yeah, okay, we almost there tonight. Okay, we almost there tonight. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in, showing support. Because, you know, sometimes you just, it's a dollar hole. If you ain't got no dollar, get your broke ass up off my lot. Don't come over here. Matter of fact, take that dollar and go get you some tissue and wipe your ass so we can stop smelling you every time you get up from the seat and walk in that wind blow. Okay. I got me a, another, I got me a little bit for a bottle. That's the only time I get to sip is when I'm talking to y'all live. I be working. I got to I do all this stuff. It's sociably, bitch. Sociably. 
All right, let me see where the share is at. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in on tonight from the uh, West Coast to the East Coast. You know, from up north to down south. Y'all already know I'm from Alabama, the 334. I just live in these North Carolina streets. I ain't from here. I don't claim none of this shit here. I just live here. But I'm from the 334, in case you want to know. And, um, uh, so listen, so the other story we're going to talk about, y'all know this girl done had some, um, some acid threw on her. She said her sister threw some acid on her. We're going to talk about that on tonight. Now, I'm a little bit, uh, and shout out to the Taylor Port. This live is uh, brought to you tonight by teleport <laughs> if you get on this Taylor bitch we might not be able to bring you back to the port tonight all right um so just know I'm on that Taylor port on tonight um so we're gonna talk about this girl her sister done threw some acid on her I mean some acid I'm talking about that battery acid she I don't know what kind of acid she threw some acid on her and messed her face up. She looking like Kane from the WWE. It ain't funny, you know, but it's sad because, girl, I don't believe this story that you're telling these people. So you just told your sister you need to keep these drugs out your house and do all this. And she just threw some acid on you. We're going to get to that on tonight. Who else we going to talk about? Do I want to talk about anybody? Else? I do want to talk about them two girls. And y'all forgive me because I am from Alabama. And, uh, you know, we love, we love, we love hood, you know, love, you know, little ghetto, some stuff that, you know. That we might know, know, you know, might not know the correct, you know, way to say it. But uh, I do want to talk about them two girls that stuck together. What is that called? I'm sorry, y'all. Forgive me. Uh, but the two girls that stuck together, they say the sister mad because she, her sister, is sleeping. They got the same body, though. Same body, same butt, you know, uh, two different heads. I, I think they're co-joined siblings. I mean, I don't know what it's called. Co-joint twins. Yes, the co the co-joint twins. Have y'all been keeping up with that? I think I'm gonna do a live about that on uh Wednesday tomorrow. I think I might go live about that on Wednesday. Cause we want to talk about that because I'm I'm just trying to understand why this sister mad at her sister because she with a man she don't want to be with. It's just man. So we're gonna talk about that on tonight. All right, let's see where we at on tonight. Shout out to everybody that's tuned in tonight. All right. Okay, so first of all, ooh, we're going to get to this. Matter of fact, let me see what story I want to get to on tonight. Shout out to everybody that's tuned in. Um, Shout out to y'all that's sending the cash out. Oh, Beat Mob, I love y'all. Shout out to the Beat Mob tonight. Y'all know I got to beat y'all up every once in a while. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Thank y'all to the hoes that's talking about I wish he would uh, come the fuck on because I got something to do. Well, go do what you got to do. The video will be up here when you leave. Okay, shout out to that. Shout out to the sisters, you know, that that one sister that be having all them different colors in her head. They sent me your story that you was talking shit, but I'm not going to roast you tonight. I'm going to roast your sister for what she did about, you know, to this baby and about her, you know, stirring up the pain and the horrors and the and the and the memories that another mama had to go through. I mean, can you just imagine having a baby that you carry for nine months? You plan the world together with your man or whether you be a single mother. Shout out to the single mothers tonight. Shout out to every single mother that's out there doing it on their own. They ain't trying to press no man. When your child get here, if you want to be here, you have the choice to be here. If you're not going to be here, then you can bounce. You can toodaloo. You're going about your business. Shout out to the women that don't wait on no man to take care of them when they got a child. They boss up and they handle business. They show men that I can do the same thing that you do and make a living. Shout out to those women that's on the live tonight. But I'd be damned if I shout out a whore that done sat up and got pregnant, done threw her legs. As high as the moon. And uh, let a man dug her in and dug her out. And lose his baby. And got the nerve. To meddle around Facebook and look. 
for the photos of another woman's child. Search they page to see if they baby done died so you could take that. You know, you've been, you, 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 you. And then you want everybody to believe that it was because you ain't know how to tell people. But then in a text message, it seemed like you told your favorite cousin that you didn't know how to tell your baby daddy. Chuck, Chuck. <laughs> oh my shout out to those ladies I mentioned earlier now let me show y'all who this girl is now I'm gonna call her Tahoe and y'all can call her by her real name but I'm gonna call her Tahoe on the night cause I ain't finna pronounce all this Taharia Shade Patterson. Do y'all know her? Have y'all ever heard of her? They say she's from either Fairmont, North Carolina. Oh, and I'm coming for that Fairmont High School uh, prom that y'all threw together. Two for them kids that paid 50 and 60 damn dollars. I'm coming for y'all too. We're going to talk about y'all. Uh, but they say she down there from Fairmont, Lumberton, North Carolina. Um. Uh, and she, that's her name, Taharia Sade Patterson. But I'm just going to call her Tahoe on the night. Now, she took another woman's child photos. Okay, let me, matter of fact, let me break it down for y'all. Because I see I'm going to have to go to the people that's slow in the back. Okay, this woman right here. I believe it's Anya. Oh, Lord, forgive me. Let me see what it is. I'm just going to call her Miss Michelle on tonight. Anya, Anya, Miss Michelle, because, you know, everybody pronounced their names differently. This right here is Miss Michelle, as you all can see. OK. Now, in 2022, she had lost her baby. Her baby, Grayson. OK, he only lived for eight days. And then he passed away. Now, when I spoke to her, she had told me that she had to be, uh, she had an emergency C-section on September the 27th in 2022 due to her having high blood pressure. And she had to have an emergency C-section and they took her baby out. And um, eight days later, little Grayson um, passed away. And if you can see right here, down where I have the arrow, you can see at the, uh, excuse me, you can see the date that um, Miss Michelle posted the photos of her child. And she shared these photos after his birth. And um, eight days later, October the 5th, he passed away. And um, unbeknownst to Miss Michelle, some whore down there in Robinson County named Tahoe, Taharia, was all online, you know, looking for people's, you know, looking for photos of deceased babies. You know, now they got that little feature where you can go on Facebook and you can, you know, you can search people's stuff. But I think that um, Miss Michelle had told me that she she knew this girl's sister, but she never knew that Tahoe existed, okay? So, um, Sunday night, Miss Michelle gets a message from her homegirl. Her homegirl sends her a photo of who she believes is Michelle's son, Grayson, on another woman's Facebook page. And... It was on Tahoe's Facebook page. Okay. Now, prior, prior to Tahoe posting in February that her baby passed away. Because she said she had a baby. But she ain't got no doctors, no proof. She, she ain't even put up not one real ultrasound of her real baby that she said she was pregnant with by this dude named Chuck. Now, I'm leaving Chuck out of this 
because uh, it seems like Chuck was bamboozled too. Chuck, you know, he probably didn't. He didn't. He didn't know. I'm most certain he didn't know. Um, but before this, um, Tahoe was on Facebook. Uh, the same month, okay. And she started posting photos from the Pregnancy Plus app. Now, a lot of pregnant women may know about the app. A lot of you may not because you may use an, uh, excuse me, an alternative. However, it's a lot of women that know about Pregnancy Plus. And they have where you can, you know, track your history. I mean, you know, track your baby's, you know, birth, progression, all that stuff. Give you tips, how to feed them, show you what they should look like at a certain amount of weeks or whatever. She went on the app. And she was screenshotting the photos of what the app shows a mom uh, that her child should look like at a certain amount of weeks, you know, or months, 12 weeks, 7 weeks, 24 weeks, 29 weeks, whatever the case may be. If I'm saying something on my y'all know women, you get what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, she was taking the photos that the app developers made to put in there to show you what your child should look like at a certain time. And she went on Facebook on her own page and she posted the photos up there wanting the people to believe that she was with the child. Okay. Here go the first photo. And as you can see, that's Pregnancies Plus screenshot on the right. As you can see down there, September the 28th from Miss Patterson, Tahoe, she says, my boy, but then you go to the right and you go to Pregnancy Plus and you go over to scans or tools and you go to 17 weeks. It's going to show you what your child as a mother who's pregnant with a real baby, what your child should look like at 17 weeks. <laughs> I, 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 I'm just saying, let me go see what y'all saying in the comments. Poor little Mozzie never, you know what? Uh, what you talk? What, what you talking about? Who is this, Cor uh, Coriana? I, what you saying, Coriana? Let me get you. Let me see what you saying. What's up, Coriana? What's your problem? What's up? What you got to say? Y'all need to quit mentioning people. Man, lf my ass. Are we watching just like y'all? What you? What you? What you, what you talking about? Who you talking about? I'm trying to understand who you talking about. Put a name on who you talking about. Who you talking about? This your first time tuning in? Oh, so she talking to somebody in the chat. I'm just trying to see who you talking about. I'm just trying to make sure you talking about. Because I told y'all when I look at these comments, they don't show who y'all replying to. So they said, I live in Fairmont, but I don't recognize her. Well, maybe she live in Lumberton. Okay. I'm just making sure. Now, this ain't got that this regular. If I see it, I'm gonna get you. Ain't got nothing to do with no Taylor Port baby. Um, it's people who really want babies and you out here faking it. Exactly. All right, let me see. Let me see. Let me see what else y'all have to say in the comments. Yeah, she was definitely, 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 definitely um faking it. Well, I don't know if she have a baby. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. You know that she does the truth. Allegedly. She going all the way to another city in town. I think she said she going to Dillon, South Carolina. Dillon. I think she said she going to Dillon Hospital to get some paperwork for y'all. But, you know, if you ain't showed it before then, we going to think it's doctored and screenshotted and made up. You know, you got some of them CPN queens and them scam queens right in the chat tonight. They the real ones. They ain't the ones that's going to take, you know, scam. You know, the ones that. You know, going to make a little money and help you out so you can get somewhere. You know, because a lot of y'all names fucked up. <laughs> okay, let me see. So y'all saw that first picture, right? Oh, it didn't stop there. Oh, she had no shame. Tahoe had no shame in her game. Tahoe said, oh, I'm going to wait a couple of more days. So she waited a couple of more days. And then she posted this one. She posted this one. She's a pregnancy plus. 
And she screenshotted it before they could ever try to take it down. How dare you hoes try to take down my fake baby ultrasound. Girl, this is not even your ultrasound. Where's your real ultrasound? So on October the 2nd, 2023, our stinky man. That's what she said. She did a remiss on her. She went to the app. So let me tell y'all what she did. She went to that app. Because I'm trying to understand. Why do y'all always want to acquire mental illness when you get busted? You weren't thinking about no goddamn mental illness. And there's people out here with real mental illness, and this is not for them. But you weren't thinking about no mental illness when we when your hand was in that goddamn cookie jar. I don't understand how y'all know to do everything else, but then when it come down to this other stuff, y'all y'all claim y'all got mental illness and y'all don't know what's going on. How in the hell you don't know that this ain't your child? So, oh my gosh, Lord have mercy, Jesus, talk to the people, Lord. I can't talk to him, God. You got to talk to him. God, you know how many times I to set up up here on this live and I try to tell these people. I know people that have real mental problems and they ain't never did. They ain't never touch. They ain't never touched nobody else. Child. They ain't never hurt nobody. The ones that I know. Black and white. It don't even matter their color. Well, I ain't gonna say they probably ain't. I'm thinking about Down syndrome, but. I just feel like a lot of this stuff is evil mentality. There will be no reason for Gerald Jackson to get in my car tonight and go out there and just run a red light and hit somebody. Oh, he crazy. He slow. He retarded. He, uh, he did this. No, that was just evil of me. Don't you think that every murderer would be out right now if. The jury believe that every one of them, every time they kill somebody, that it was a mental illness. Now, when you start talking about messing with your mama and your dad and them, then I might say, OK, you crazy. Because how dare you even try to lift your hands up at somebody that gave birth. to you? Now, you're going to have your problems and you're going to argue and stuff, but it's a line. But, you know, hey, that's just me. So anyways, she creeped and she creeped and she creeped on over there to Miss Michelle's page. It took this lady's baby's photos. Okay, so y'all saw that. So after she done stole. Now, I want y'all to understand this now. She want us to believe. Now, the only photos that she's talking about is the ones that she stole from Miss Michelle. Now, she ain't put Michelle's, I mean, not Michelle, she ain't put, she ain't addressed them fake pregnancy plus photos that she stole from the people's app trying to tell everybody in Carolina that she was with child and it was by a dude named Chuck. And she still ain't apologized to this mom. She giving everybody an apology. Mom, I'm sorry, sister. I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry. You sorry to everybody but the person that you offended. And then you got your sister up online looking crazy, acting crazy with all them different colors in her head. And let me tell y'all something. Y'all need to stop putting all these different type of colors in your head and you don't look good with the black you already got. I'm just saying. I putting all these colors. You got the boys out here with blonde. You don't look good with blonde. Take that blonde out your head. Some stuff you just got to look in the mirror and say, I don't look good. This don't look right. Don't wait. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Please don't. Get you one of them AI photos and go on up there and put you some dye on your head in one of them pictures that you got in your gallery and see where you look good and stop coming out here looking like, you know, a uh, different color of Tasha K's and shit. Because y'all know Tasha K is a red woody woodpecker. You can find her in the back of your motherfucking tree. In your backyard every day. Pecking on, on your goddamn trees around 5 o'clock. She's looking for another story. And another person she can tell a bold 
face lie on. Y'all up here online trying to protect your sister. You can't protect your sister. You can't protect nobody that stole the photos of another woman's deceased child and then trying to publish them on her Facebook page acting like it's that's her child and this the child that died. No, tell them people that you had a miscarriage for all that nun that carrying on that you had going on that you was doing. How you have a miscarriage? How you a mom and you not careful with the gift that God placed inside of you? What are you doing? And I know that, you know, you ain't got to always do stuff to have one. But at the end of the day, you know, you wow. You a wild one, Tahoe. You say, Woody. I say, Woody. Woody, Woody, Woody. Oh, Woody. <sighs> Somebody said, Gerald, was she pregnant for real? We still don't know. We're going to know when she get them, them results that she claims she got to go to dealing and get. All right, so she posted that fake photo, right? So this year, she goes on Facebook. Looking around to see if anybody watching her. <laughs> yes, we watching you. We got cameras all around this bitch. We saw your hand in the cookie jar, and we saw you over there clicking that button, stealing that lady's deceased child's photo. Yes, we saw you. We looking. We, we we saw you. So after that, she went on Facebook, and this how disrespectful she is. She went on face. Okay, so she stole. She stole. Uh. 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 Miss Michelle's baby photos, right? So on February twenty seventh of this year. She ran, she ran. I'm talking about when I tell you she ran, she ran like Jakari Richardson did. And she went on her Facebook page and she went to that what's on your mind and she uploaded this photo. But before she did that, she put a heart, a heart, a blue heart over this other mama's deceased child's face to try to hide the fact that. That was not her baby, but because Miss Michelle's homegirl is a homegirl and got her sis, they was able to quickly, because when you see something, especially as a newborn child or you see photos, you don't remember, you don't, you don't forget anything. You remember. It's like you have photographic memory when it comes to stuff like that. So Michelle's homegirl saw that, oh, no, girl, although you got this heart. Over this baby's face, you done stole my friend's deceased child's photo. And now y'all see it. February 27th, I love you for life and after life, son. Girl, what? Ma'am. 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 Little girl, come Ma'am. But everybody, everybody online wanted to. Well, I ain't going to say everybody want to defend her. If, if, let me just tell you something. When you apologize, you have to mean it. You can't apologize and then say, you don't, you ain't sorry because people roasting your sister down to the ground. Okay. Y'all heard that, right? Okay, now, this is what she posted today. Let's read it. I was going to leave, let me read it in my, I was going to leave everything alone and let everybody have their opinion on the situation. Yeah, I admit that I was wrong for posting her baby. Yeah, that was really wrong of me. But for folks, see that butt? Baby, see that butt? That butt cancel you out because it ain't no butt. It ain't no butt. It ain't no excuse for you using this woman's child. Your own lies and made up story. It ain't no but. Now back to what I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by this but. But for folks that's not knowing the real situation, gonna say what they think. Hmm, I was pregnant. I lost my baby December 18th when I went to my appointment. My doctor told me my baby didn't have a heartbeat. Something was going on with my placenta. 
and the doctor had scheduled me an induced date to get my baby out, but I didn't go to the appointment. Hold on. Hold on. So you had, so you mean to tell me that you had the opportunity, Tahoe, to get your own baby that was inside of you out and take a picture of that and post that on Facebook, but you decided that you wanted to run on up on Facebook into this other girl's uh, page and take her photos. Why you just didn't go to your induced date and get the baby out of you and post your own deceased child's photo? I just want to know. So even right there, you have no excuse because you had a due date for a photo shoot and you did not go. Okay. You wanted to take somebody else's photo shoot pictures, right? And put them up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I called it a photo shoot. If I take a picture with my phone, it's a photo shoot, bitch. If I take, yes, it's a photo shoot. You had an opportunity for the doctor to deliver your baby that you claim was dead. And you could have took a photo of that. Why didn't you take a photo of that? We, the people, want to know. Yeah, I just want to know. We, we want to know why you ain't take no photo of that. Why you ain't post that. Uh, why you ain't seen your sister that? Oh, okay. Why you ain't tell Chuck that? Because that was the reason why you was doing it anyway. Why? Because you ain't want to tell Chuck. You ain't want Chuck to know that you lost his baby. It's so sad that you want to have a baby by a man so damn bad that you got to go to this extent. Y'all be to my mental illness. How y'all don't know that this hoe just want to have a baby? And she just, she couldn't tell that man that he, that baby dead. She wanted to have this man's baby instead of going back and jumping on the dick one more time and retrying again like a lottery ticket. Then you just want to you just want to stop. You want to stop and you want to put the the rope on the horse and tie the horse up to the ball. Y'all ain't good. Y'all just some dirty. Ooh, y'all just dirty and low damn. All right, let's go back to what she said. Because y'all know I'm going to stop, start and stop as much as I want to, right? All right, because I got to get the story. All right, so she said she had an induced day to get my baby out, but. I didn't go to the appointment. I went all over my due date with a dead baby inside of me. And when I finally went to the hospital, when I finally went to the hospital on February 26th, they seen he didn't have a heartbeat then. So I went ahead because, you know, I was lying and lying and lying. You know, if I'm breathing, I'm not lying. And I went ahead and told them that the baby was dead inside of me for two months. And when they looked on the inside of me that month, they seen that that baby was deteriorating inside of me. And it was causing my stomach and the inside to deteriorate. My stomach started bleeding in the inside. I had an infection over my body. I could have died. But y'all don't care about that, that I could have died. Y'all just care about this baby who photo I stole. But y'all don't care about that I almost died. They said that I had a baby. Dead inside of me, I'm not looking for no sympathy from anybody because I was wrong for posting her baby and not letting anybody know what was going on. And I would be going to get my medical records from Dillon Hospital to post them. I wasn't going to say shh and to just let mother think they have a story. And I posted the baby because I couldn't just tell them that I was going on. I didn't know how to explain to anybody that I had a dead baby inside of me for two months. I know how long I am. I know how wrong I am for doing this. And I think she had asked for forgiveness. But the motion for forgiveness is denied. Now, okay, so she posted that today. Okay, she posted that today on her Facebook page. Seemed like everybody want to start posting after the baddest blogger said that, it, that, that the story was going up on the blog. So she started posting. Okay, and after she got done posting, um, well, I ain't gonna say after she got done posting, scratch that. She posted this today, but I had got a text message screenshot from somebody, you know, somebody that's supposed to be her favorite cousin, favorite cousin TT. They talking about Tahoe. And now this had a conversation with. Yo, girl, you see me calling ho, you got my pen? Chuck got it. Okay, boo, why you ain't been texting me? The elf is wrong with you. My bad. 
I'm in fair month trying to find somewhere to go before I go hurt myself, but I ain't worried about what's going on. My baby was dead inside of me for two months. Yeah, I'm wrong for using her baby picture, but I just couldn't tell Chuck the baby was dead inside of me. So which one is it? Which one is it, ma'am? Because today, today, you told us that you didn't know how to tell the people that your baby was dead inside of you because your baby was just dead inside of you. But in a text message, you told your cousin, you told your cousin that you ain't want to let Chuck the roast know what was going on. So how are we going to believe you, ma'am? How are we going to believe you? You you don't set up here and told all, first of all, the first, now, I, you know what? I would say this. I would have a little sympathy for you had you just posted one real ultrasound. And can't nobody even say, well, Gerald, you roasting a dead baby because we don't even know if the whole had a baby. We don't even know if she was really pregnant with the baby. Do anybody on aisle one through 12 can tell us if Tahoe had a baby or if she was really pregnant with child? Now, being that she done lied so much in this little span of a story, I don't believe that any photo of her with a with a baby bump is from a real child. Y'all know AI technology nowadays can make you look like somewhere you're not. It can make you, you can change your face like Netta be changing. We don't even know who the, that be when Charles posted up with somebody that resembles Miss Netta, but we can't really tell because it looks like she give us a whole new face every day. You know, with all these lies, I just don't, I don't know whether I believe you or not. So I mean, you know, and then you keep on talking about one minute you saying, oh, 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 it's because I didn't want to tell. But what was your excuse of not going to your inducement date? When you went to go see that doctor, December 2023, according to you, why didn't you go back to your follow up appointment and tell these people or let these people pull that baby out of you since you were so pregnant? Why you ain't post not one real ultrasound? And what does any of this have to do with you taking this girl's child from her Facebook page and posting it on your Facebook page? I still don't understand what that got to do with anything. What does it got to do with anything, ma'am? Can you tell us or you can't? What does that have to do with nothing at all? And guess what, y'all? Tahoe still and apologize to this mommy who lost her baby. Instead of you reaching out to Miss Michelle and asking her how you get through it, how you make it, what do, what do I need to do? Can you tell me how you made it the day after this? Can you can can I reach out to you anytime I feel down because you can relate to me because I am too a mother who has lost their child, whether it be by miscarriage or eight days later. You should have been asking this mama how you can get through it. And then you got your sister and them coming up online trying to defend you. And of course they're gonna defend you because. You're their sister. But at the end of the day, you can't get mad at us because we asking why. And we still don't know why. She done told two lies. And we don't know which one is the true girl. What's the next lie so you can break the tie? <laughs> Come on over here and tell us the next lie so you can break the tie, please, ma'am. Please, please. Can you come over here, please? Just tell us the next lie you're going to tell so you can break the tie. Okay, let me see what some of y'all saying in the comments. All right, catch the replay then. We'll see you later. Okay, let me see. At this point, we need to see the dude she lied to. Um, uh, I'm not the twin. Somebody been done said they were. Okay, I don't even know what you're talking about. Zaza, not the Tahoe. Look, the Tahoe. Okay, you can't defend damage, right? She's a narcissist. She's still making it about her. Looking for sympathy, exactly. What she was trying to get a whole baby registry? 
Or she was gonna ask for them cash apps like the baddest block. Send them cash apps in. Uh-huh. Yup. Okay, let me see. So I said two months. When she had become septic and died. Now she said her stomach was deteriorating. The doctor, that's what she said. The doctor said she ain't show not one. She still want us to trust her word. She still want us to believe that her word is bond. But it means nothing, ma'am, because you don't lie so many times. Now, you can lie about some petty shit. And when you lie on a whole baby, on a whole child, on a whole pregnancy, and you got this man all on Facebook talking about, yeah, my son coming. He ready to put him in basketball or dress him up like Zaya. It don't even matter which way he was going to make the baby. But at the end of the day, you done got up here and stuck. You know what? I just can't. So uh, that was her sorry excuse. And like I said, you know, she she went online up here and, you know, she in this text message, you know, she I think this was to, from today. She told the people she told her cousin, she told her cousin, she told her cousin that she didn't want to tell Chuck the roast that she lost that baby. We ain't seen a hospital ban. We ain't seen no discharge paperwork. We ain't seen nothing. But I bet you sure be throwing. I show you. I bet you sure be sending them new photos. Let's see if you and uh. Let's see if you and uh. You and Chuck can make a real baby. Chuck done thought he done did something. Chuck, you bro, you ain't did nothing, bro. She was fucking over you the whole time, playing with you, bro. That's crazy to sit online. I mean, to go on and tell this man that he having a baby. Telling y'all about to stop. This is the season to just keep it real and keep it a band and keep it 100. Chuck the damn roast. Okay. All right, y'all. Listen, ma'am, Tahoe, please don't come back up on the NCB. Tahoe, please don't come back up on the NCB. I tried to reach out to Tahoe to get a statement from her, but we was unable to get in contact with Tahoe because at the time they said she had deleted her page. So we wasn't we was unable to get uh, back to her. All right. Uh, they said, wait, somebody said Chuck is dumb as two. You didn't feel baby moving. He no, cause she wanted that girl chest was probably looking like Serena Williams over there, flatter than this damn table. I got this computer on, and you know he ain't about to feel no damn kick. He gonna feel them damn abs, <laughs> but he ain't about to feed and feel. Listen, okay, let me ask y'all a question, Beat Mob. Let me ask should I, Let me let me ask y'all a question. Let me just ask y'all a question, Beat Mob. This, just keep it a band with me. Now, everybody keeps saying, well, Gerald, is she really pregnant? Okay. The answer is, I don't know. Because she has not, listen. If a woman says that she's seven weeks pregnant, seven weeks pregnant, because she went on this app, Pregnancy Plus, and chose the number of weeks she allegedly was and posted the 3D model of them showing her what her baby should look like on a real ultrasound or however it works. Do you think that someone who's online saying that they are pregnant is going to um, do I want to say that? No. Well, I am. Do you really think that She's pregnant if she never used one real ultrasound and used the ultrasounds for pregnancy plus. Like you just ask yourself that question. So be my do y'all think she's really pregnant now? She ain't posted not one real ultrasound from her pregnancy. Not one. She used two of them from pregnancy plus. Do y'all think she's pregnant? With you knowing that information and what I showed you from her public Facebook page that she is active on. Do you think she's pregnant? Okay then. She ain't pregnant. I don't believe she's pregnant. Based off that evidence, I don't believe she's pregnant. Okay? 
Now, she said she's going to go get her paperwork from Dillon Hospital. Now, I don't know if somebody's going to create her a, 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 a letterhead that looked like the hospital. I don't know. I don't know what these crap these scammers going to do. But I'm not buying it. Anything that you trying to show me after something that you could have been done put up to, 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 to exclude all of this and, and you know, this one ain't never happened, you should have already done that. In the beginning, we don't got to the point where you where we don't caught you with your hand in the motherfucking brownie pan. So at the end of the day, we don't want to see no shit that y'all post after the roast. We don't want to see it. We don't want to hear it because you should have posted it in the beginning and you didn't post it. OK. OK, let me see. A pregnant woman will post her baby. Listen, I'm telling you, she ain't post not one real not one real ultrasound okay all right y'all so we done with her all right so let's go to this next story we got a couple of minutes we're gonna watch we got about 13 minutes total we're gonna watch all right so let me go ahead and just put this up here on the glass for y'all so y'all can see now this is the girl named neek the goat neek the goat And she's currently in the hospital recovering because her sister, her biological sister, threw acid on her. Okay. And she had made a video a couple of weeks back saying that um, she needed money for her GoFundMe because she didn't look like that. This is not her. And she want her regular face back. And of course, you know, a lot of people don't understand that when you go to the hospital, you got to have insurance at a certain level of care. Them people ain't finna be running them thousand dollars an hour machines and them machines and you ain't got no insurance. Now, they gonna give you basic care, put a bandaid on you, see your home, you good, everything good. But when you talk about running all these machines and having to get skin grafted done, grafting done to get your skin back and them having to take skin from your butt and put it on your face and stuff, trying to make you look normal again, that stuff costs a lot of money. So she had went live on social media and uh, she had stated that she needed help uh, getting some money, you know, go me fund me just so she could try to get reconstructive surgery done after her sister threw acid on her. Now, I don't know if this is the real story and part one of her video uh, really kind of like gave me all I needed to know because it was like, well, what, what, what else you was gonna say that wasn't, in the, that wasn't in the first video before you stated what led up to the moment that you was attacked. So I feel like any video after that just is gonna be on a rant. So I downloaded the first, part of her video okay now this first video is her in the hospital and she is going to tell you that her sister who acid on her and uh yeah i need y'all help man for real like i got staples all in my face and shit i need y'all to help me bro like can y'all support my go for me account man i just want my face redid like out of all people, my sister threw acid on me, y'all. Like they don't, they already had to cut off my cut off my tattoo on my arm and stuff. Like my body is messed up, y'all. I don't look like this. I don't look like this, y'all. Them lilies so acid, y'all to support my GoFundMe me account so I can fix myself, bro. So I can fix my face, like y'all. They cut my hair off and stuff, like. I don't look like this, y'all. If y'all know, you know me, bro. You know I don't look like this. You know I don't come crying on no internet, bro. Bro, look at me. Look at me, bro. My baby got to see me like this. Yeah, I need help. I need help for real, man. Like, for real. I was, this ain't even funny. Like, this so sad, y'all. Like, I just want everybody... 
I don't care if it's a dollar, five dollar, ten dollar, twenty dollar, fifty dollar, hundred dollar. I don't care. Just help me out. I just wanna have surgery and get myself back right. You feel me? Like my sister threw acid on me, bro. My sister threw acid on me, bro. And I can't change what happened. It hurts so bad, y'all. I'm so depressed right here, bro. Like for real, I'm so depressed. I, I just can't stop crying cause like, damn, look at me. I don't look like this. Y'all, my, all my meat, let me take this out, bro. You gonna see all my meat, but my whole, I ain't got no tattoo no more, bro. I ain't got no tattoo no more, bro. Y'all help me with my GoFundMe account, please. For real, y'all, like, I just want my face back. Like, I do right by people in real life. I'm really lost. For real, like, I don't know what else to say, man. I mean, y'all see, feel me? Y'all see what I look like, feel me? I don't look like this. I need help, for real, y'all. I don't care how much it is, man. Just say something. Just say something, for real. Look at my nose, bro. Y'all look at my nose. My nose got nothing but stipers in it. My I need help, y'all. Just go for my account, man. It's up on my page. I don't care what y'all saying, bro. I'm grateful, bro. I'm grateful for real. Like, all I'm asking is for help. I thought I thought this could never happen to me, man. And it happened to me. Out of all things, you want to throw acid on somebody? My baby can't even recognize me. It hurt the most, like... You do it in front of my child. So, that's the first video. That's the video that she first posted on her Instagram. I'm mean, excuse me, on her TikTok. Um, I think it was like two weeks ago. Um, hold on, let me put it up here. Let me go and see when it is. I feel so bad for her. I really want her to get better. She posted it on March 21st. And uh, she had came back with another video and she was mad and upset because the blogs was out saying stuff or trying to spin the story around. You know, people were saying stuff like she must have slept with her sister's boyfriend and stuff and all this other stuff. Now, what she said in the next video was, is like she was kind of like trying to tell her sister what was right. You know, get all these drug Aggies out your house, these addicts, these people that don't mean you no good. You got kids. All you want to do is lay around and, and sleep. You know, giving that sisterly love because ain't nothing wrong with telling your sister that. Get up. That's all you do. You sleep all day. Do something. Don't just lay there. Like, move your body. Move your limbs. Stretch. Do something. Don't just lay in the bed all day or sit somewhere all day. Get up and move your body. Okay, that's how you grow old. You're going to mess around and sit some damn well and you're going to be 65 or 70 years old and you ain't going to be able to lift your damn arms. Drink some damn milk. But at the end of the day, you know, I don't know. I want to believe. I don't know. I think it's a little bit more to this story for her sister to just take this stuff and just get mad at you because you telling her something like that. And, and, and look, People don't like to tell people don't like for you to tell them what to do either. So it could be true. I don't know. So we're gonna play this video and let y'all know. If y'all don't know, this is a girl named Neat the Goat. I didn't really dig too much deep into the story because I'm I'm waiting for some other stuff to come out about it. But this is Neat the Goat one on uh TikTok. She made a video about her uh, so she went viral because she had made a video of her in the hospital of her sister. Um Just like, I mean, pour acid on her. And a photo I seen her arm when she talks about her tattoo, like her arm is was nothing but meat. Like, just imagine a pot of chitlins in a line rolled up, you know, or whatever. Like her skin, I've never seen anything in my life like it before. Like it, it was just, it was terrible. And I think the neighborhood talk had posted it. 
And they had a picture of her skin where her tattoo was that she said to get cut off. And it looks, man, listen, I ain't never seen nothing like that. I done seen some gruesome stuff. But I ain't never seen nothing like that. It was very nasty. So in this next video, is, like I said, it's part one. I felt like that. To me, when you tell a story and you tell everything before you get to the actual, you know, part or the actual uh, thing we want to know, you know, what happened, I feel like that you ain't got nothing else to say once you already get to that. So she got, I think she got like another video explaining part two, but I wanted to know why her sister threw acid on her. And in this first part, she explained it. Now, I don't believe it. Y'all can believe it. This just me. I think it was a little bit more, but we're going to see. Since everybody out here getting false accusations, false rumors and shit, talking about it's dealing with a nigga, it's dealing with her transsexual assault. Why the fuck? Hold on. Why the fuck would I sexually assault my motherfucking niece and nephew? Stop giving out false ass rumors. The real story is my sister on hard drugs. She needs some help. You feel me? She ain't like the shit I said. I just been real raw and uncut with her ass. Cause you got people in and out your house every day talking about some damn money. Like, like that shit made me look bad. People know you my sister and they know you on your shit. You feel me? Like, how you think that made me feel? Make it make sense. How you think it make your children feel? How you think this shit made me feel? So when I, I spoke on some real shit, my like, damn, all you do is sit around and lay down and smoke all day. You don't want to get up and hustle. You don't want. You don't want no motion. You want shit handed to you, cuz make it make sense. Make it make sense. I'm so real, motherfucker. Hey, you say real shit. They don't like it. You feel me? So she had her little junkie friends and shit. They all up in all up in the house. I'm, I'm speaking my mind, man. Like, these motherfuckers not your friend. If they were your friend, they, they wouldn't have you on no shit like this. They wouldn't have you on no shit like this. They wouldn't have you looking like this. You'll be able to take care of your child, your kids. Fuck. So, as that, as that started to go around, I'm in my, in my new room, feed my baby and shit. Boom, feed my baby. She coming in and flip my baby food in my face. You feel me like that shit that's fuck with my mind. My mind. Just, I'm fifth, I'm feeling my goddamn baby. You done flipped his plate in my face. Boom. Okay, so I picked the plate up. I threw it at her. She went in her room and got a machete. She tried to stab me and she you feel me like ain't that much hate in the world. Because I'm telling you what's right. You think for using you, but you ain't trying to help yourself. How you you need some help, help huh? Ain't no way in hell. We, I, I did not want to fight my sister in front of my niece and nephew and my baby, bro. She hit me. She hit me, bro. I had to let her hit me because she had a machete in her hand. I ain't know what the fuck she was going to do to me. You feel me? Like, make it make sense. Boom, she put the machete down. We started finding shit. We went outside and started finding shit. The neighbors came across the street trying to break it up. She mad because she lost, you feel me? Like, okay, boom. After that, she started throwing my baby. She kept throwing my baby shit out the house. Soon I, I get back to her porch. And I'm, pick, try, I'm trying to come pick up me and my baby shit. My baby standing right up on the side of me. I'm picking up our shit. She open the door and throw this shit in my face. That ain't love, bitch. That shit not love. And y'all want to come up over here with this spreading these false ass rumors up on all these goddamn blogs and shit. No, no, we going to tell what's real. I'm going to tell my part. I'm going to tell her part. You feel me? She ain't got no part to tell. She ain't got shit to tell. You, you can't justify me looking like this, bitch. I'm your blood sister, bitch. We come from the same mama, same daddy. Ain't no way in hell you comfortable with throwing acid in my motherfucking face in front of my baby and my, and my niece and my nephew, cuz. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Y'all want to make this shit go viral and spread false air room? This shit ain't got nothing to do with no nigga. Ain't got nothing to do with no, no sexual assault with no churn. What the fuck? Do I look like I'm a, do I like I'm a fucking, a fucking rapist hoe? Make it make sense. No. It's because I, I tried to get my sister a job. She ain't want to work. 
I, I, I got friends. I got people that love me. I don't, I don't be around people that's on hard drugs and shit. I be around, I network and shit. I got some going for myself. You think I want to see my sister going down here on some hard ass drugs? These motherfuckers knocking up at your door all type of, all times of night and shit. My niece in here. How the fuck you think I feel? Like be for real. How you think I feel? That shit hurt me. It hurt. To, it hurt to hear my niece say when when I asked my niece what my what what what, what my sister doing. She up in there smoking with them folk. She six years old. Ain't no way in hell my, my niece to be saying no shit like that about her mouth. So now my niece and my nephew, they up at my mama house. Boom. You want you want you want to do this to me after, bro? Like this shit not love, bro. Ain't no way you love me, bro. This shit hit my baby's shoes. It could hit my baby's skin. But you love me. This shit not motherfucking love. I gotta wake up and look like this. What? Make it make sense. I've been in the hospital since March, March the 12th. It's the longest I've ever been without my son, bro. Y'all want to come up on, up on these blogs and shit, making up false ass rumors. It ain't about no fucking nigga. It about lit, trying to put some sense in my sister's head and she want to do this to me. You want to smoke these hard ass drugs and shit. You don't want to listen to what I'm saying. I'm trying to put you on some motion and shit. I sport bed. I, I got my hands in everything. I'm an actress. I'm a rapper. I do all type of shit. I'm a content creator, cuz. And you up in here smoking all day. Now you you throwing your life away. You 24 licking 40. How the fuck you think that made me feel? People know you my sister. Like, damn, oh, she on that. Yeah, my no, that, 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 that need sister. She on that. How you think that made me feel? Are you okay, mama? She's so crazy because I try to tell my sister what is right. You know when you when when you speak positive and it's a people life and they life going down here and shit. And they ain't got no purpose out here. They gonna look at you and envy that shit, bro. They gonna look at you and feel like you think you better than them. No, bitch. I think I'm. I think I'm better than the old me. I think I growed up and I'm wiser now. The fuck? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. We got churn. We ain't got no time be bullshitting. Wearing, hanging with the wrong people. You around the wrong people, cuz. You around the wrong people. I love my son. I love my son. You can see that I love my motherfucking baby. My baby, he had that shit on. I, I make sure he well taken care of. Not just with no clothes. His mindset. I take good care of my son. The fuck? I don't need nobody buying my baby no motherfucking shoes and clothes. I'm the one to do that for him. I'm the one to make sure he eat every day. The fuck? I, 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 I just can't, I just can't see myself having motherfuckers talking about me, talking about, oh, she don't take care of her, her children, I got about her children this, I got about her children that, you'll never hear no shit like that, you'll never hear no shit like that, I'm a real mother, I'm just in this motherfucking hospital bed, the fuck, and out of all the shit you can do, we done fought it out, we fought so many times. But this time right here, bro, out of all the shit you can do, you sit up there and throw acid on me, cuz that shit ain't motherfucking love. You did that shit in front of my son, in front of my niece and nephew. You threw a machete in front of my face, in front of my son, in front of my niece and nephew. How the fuck do you think I feel? I'm sitting in the hospital bed almost a week now. How the fuck do you think I feel? I got to wake up and look like this. How the fuck you think I feel? But you my sister. But you love me. I, th I thought we love each other. I thought we don't want to fall out like this. You feel me? We don't want to fall out like this. Then we're supposed to make it this far. You feel me? This shit hurt. It hurt because it came from somebody that, that, that we share the same fucking blood, bro. We share the same fucking blood, bro. And you do this shit in front of my baby. In front of my motherfucking niece and nephew. How you think I feel? I gotta wake up, bitch. Bitch, my baby looking at me in a pile of blood outside in the grass. My baby, my baby ain't know what's going on. My baby autistic. He just outside running. I couldn't even get 
My baby autistic. My baby, my baby don't know what's going on. He just see his mama on the ground. Blood coming up out my motherfucking face. My shit gushing full of blood. I ain't never seen no shit like this. Y'all, this shit was like a movie, bro. That shit, when, when it instantly hit my skin, bro. When it hit my fucking skin, bro. I was burning. I was on fire. The fucking neighbor came across the street trying to help me. He trying to wrap the blood up on my arm and shit. My arm gushing with blood and shit. Soon he took my skin. He on fire. How the fuck you think I feel? But you my sister and you love me. I thought you love me. I could never do no shit like that to you. I could never do no shit like this to you that you did to me. The fuck? That shit hurt me. My baby had to see this shit. My baby young as hell. Let me say this. I'm gonna take my thoughts. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take what I said back. I'm gonna take what I said back because the truth of the matter is, um, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I didn't see the whole whole video when she got to the part where you know about the acid. That's where I was like, I ain't even watch all the rest of the stuff. But you know, hearing her cry out and just hearing her, I don't know because. People are like that though. They don't want you to tell them nothing and they 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 get mad and they will spaz out on you. And that's probably just how she spaz. So I'm gonna take my commentary back on that. I really do feel sorry for Neek. I really do because you know, siblings argue and they fight and they go through, but to do something like that, and and and, and God is so good because not saying, you know, this she first of all, she's still alive, but if you really look at her, um I don't want to put this other picture up because I don't know how Facebook going to say, but let me show it like this. Okay. You see the picture on the left and now her other eye, you know, her left eye, our right, it kind of, it got her, but she's so blessed that it didn't actually mess her whole eye up. Like where she could not see, like, you see, I got some on her, uh, her, her left eyelid, our right, but you know, it got it, it, a little bit of got on it right there, a little bit. But she better be lucky that this stuff did not get in her actual eyes. You know, it's kind of it seems like it, it was poured on her head and then it ran down and then. But that other photo, I saw her arm. Oh my gosh, I wouldn't even put that on my blog. No, my advertisers be like, no, no. I just, I, I, uh, no, 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 no. No, she is doing better. She, um, at the time that I saw the video with the GoFundMe, she said she had seven surgeries to go. And let me just put her TikTok up here. We'll go to her TikTok. One of her video, it was so sad. I just, I couldn't even really watch it like that because it's just, it's just like, oh my God. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Give me one moment. I'm going to put this up here. Because I want y'all to. No, no, no. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Mm, I don't want to put the other video up there. But she has, Nick has made some progress. I'm proud of her. I'm really happy for her. She brought tears to my eyes. She did when I first watched it, but I was like, girl, I don't know. It's something else going on with this. But then watching that whole video, I just don't know. Now she says she's a content creator. She's a rapper. You know, she does all of these nice things. Um, and the sports betting. If she hit on about that, Belly makes a lot of money with 25 cents. Um, but she had put a song on, she had did a song to play it to y'all. Now, me, 
I was like, first of all, girl, something like this happened to me. I'll be giving my life to the Lord. I'll be singing to the Lord. I'll be praising the Lord. I'll be every street life, whatever. I let that go. God, I'm grateful to be here. Because you could have been dead and gone, sleeping in your grave. But God made death stand back and behave. But I wouldn't be up here rapping, but it sounds good. You know, I feel you. I feel you. I'm a player. I feel you. I feel where you're coming from. I understand. Because a lot of times people be going through stuff online and we don't know their real life. We don't know the hate and the jealousy and the envy and the things that they have to deal with on a day-to-day basis, you know, um, you know, with people that surrounded around them or people that they run into every day, you don't really know people life. It's only what they show on Facebook. People get on Facebook and say, Hey, hope you're doing good. Check up on you. But they living on the side of the street every night and won't even say anything. Won't even let you know, but you don't know what people are going through. People go through jealousy every day. It's people right on this live right now. You're going through some shit with your neighbors. You're going through stuff with people on your Facebook page bothering you. This is the way you can escape. You know, you can escape. You know, you got, you got, you, you, you just get to a point in your life where you just like, I'm just going to let it out. And she rapped about it. She wrote about it. I like the song, but I also like that she's healing. She's healing. And I don't know. I'm, I'm still trying to find out if she filed charges against her sister or not. Um, and then you have some families that feel like, you know, it's my sister. I'm not going to put her in jail. I'm not going to lock her up, you know, but I just don't understand. I just don't know how you come back from something like this. I don't know how you come back uh, from something like this. Um, I just, I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how you come back from something like this. Uh, Beat Mob. And for some odd reason, I feel like I already covered this story for some odd reason. I don't know why. I just feel like I have. Um, I don't know. But anyways, um, I'm going to play this video that she put up of her rapping kind of about the situation. Uh, somebody said, I believe I recall she was, she is and was in jail. But that other video she had where she had just got out of surgery. I didn't, um, I didn't see it anymore. Uh, yeah, but you know, people, the state can pick up charges all they, all they want. But if a witness don't cooperate, I mean, I mean, yeah, you can show, Hey, you know, she threw, she threw acid on her sister. But if a witness don't want to cooperate and tell you why she did it, how can a jury find her guilty? You know, you know, it could have been a situation where she was messing with acid herself and she held her arm up and it fell off. I mean, so many ways you can swing a case when the state pick up something and you don't have a cooperating witness. Just ask Miss Love down in the YSL uh, trial. Okay, let me see. Hold on, y'all. Okay. This is how she is. Hold Man, this shit ain't for the week. I'm traumatized because I can barely even see. How the fuck you love me and you did this shit to me? Fuck me up, but bitch, I'm still gonna be my feet. I gotta test my damn on the hit me speed. Family and family hate the love you give to me. Knocking my dick like I ain't wanna see me eat. I got it out of the money, they try to trick me out the street. Everybody love you till you say some real shit down like I ain't took my life like this. I pissing me on the flight. I'm trying to make it for my son. They try to deal my life. And it's uh uh-uh, uh they try to save my life. Save my life. They know that I'm a soul. They try to save my life. Uh 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 They try to save my life. Teach other way that I'm living. 
You know, come straight out that south. I've been praying every day. I hope one day I make it out. Praying on my downfall. I feel like they're trying to take me out. From the time when I was sleeping on that motherfucking couch. I'm going to me out. Because I want to be going for what she's taught. It's a hard day for me, but I know that I'm going to make it out. I'm trying to make it out. I was mad with a motherfucker and wanted you though. I took my heart up on this shit when I had needed their help. They talked down to me the worst way when I needed their help. So I ain't ever shit again. I went and died of myself. A lot of shit went through my mind and got me fed up. I'm patiently, patiently waiting to get my bread up. Counting me out because they thought I wasn't going to have nothing. Counting me out. Man, they thought I wasn't going to have nothing. They throw the way that I'm living. Uh uh, pick up the way that I'm living. Uh uh, pick up the way that I'm living. Uh uh, pick up the way that I'm living. Uh 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 uh. Uh 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 uh. Uh 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 uh. Okay, so what y'all think about that? Now I wouldn't be rapping. I'll be giving praises to the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let me see. Well, I don't do nothing but come in here try to have a good. She's still trying to have fun. No, 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 no. Just look what her sister did to her. Thank you everybody for supporting me. Thank you everybody for praying for me. Shout out to the burn survivors who made it through all that hard shit y'all had to go through. That shit ain't for the week. You feel me? Like God gonna give his toughest battle to his strongest soldier. You feel me? I want everybody to keep praying. You feel me? I gotta go to surgery. And I don't want them cut my skin off my leg and shit, but shit it is what it is, you feel me? I'ma shake back like I love some of y'all. I keep y'all head up for them strong survivors with that burn shit, boy, cause this shit, I never thought this shit would've happened to me. I'm God, like, I pray every day, y'all. Like, I got good nurses that, that actually love me, y'all. They care about me in here, you feel me? Y'all don't get this courage and shit. Like, y'all face fucked up and shit. Y'all still gotta love y'all self. Cause I love me, bro. At the end of the day, I love me. You feel me? This shit gonna go away, you feel me? You got to love yourself. You got to keep your skin moisturized and shit. You feel me? This shit right here was black on me. Look at it. It's healing. Time heal all wounds. Time heal all wounds. I support everybody. Like, I love everybody that love me. For the people with the negative coming, bro, I'm overlooking that shit. Because that shit don't hurt me. That shit don't break me. I'm a strong soldier. You feel me? God ain't going to put me through nothing. God ain't going to put me through nothing I couldn't handle, bro. And this shit that I'm going through right now, I'm taking this shit to the chin and I'm keep going. You feel me? Like, come on, man. You can't give up on yourself. You can't fail yourself. Get away. A few months from now, like two months from now, bro, I'm going to have my face back. Like, I'm going to be back me again. I'm not finna change the way I am. Like, motherfucker want to talk about something. Why she talk like that? Why she act like that? Bitch, it's me. I don't give a fuck about no goddamn burn. Oh, this is me. This is me. You can't change me, bro. You just this, this, this shit just changed my perspective on life. It changed my situation. You feel me? But get away. I'm strong. I can get up. I can open my eyes. I thank God. I pray over my head every day. I know I got motherfucker that envy me. Motherfucker that don't want to see me with shit. Motherfucker wishing that I died. You feel me? Like, come on, bro. Come on. I'm grateful to be alive. Like for real, I'm still bad as fuck. Skin still clear as fuck. You feel me? Check this little shit right here. This shit gonna be gone in a minute. Get away. I'm still hurt, baby. They hate this shit. And I shake back. I want you bitches who I always had the negative comments and shit. I'm make you all eat your words. Get away. Baby, it me you talking to, baby. Get in with me. You talking to the boss, baby. You hear me? Yo, y'all start playing. I fought with them strong survivors, them, them burn survivors and shit. Man, y'all, come on, man. Come on. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that, uh, I'm glad that she healing. You know I gotta keep going. 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 You know I gotta ke
know I gotta keep going. They counted me out, they should've counted me in. That nigga told me it'd be there like this. Show a tie, ain't no lie, a lot of people I mean. Oh, me? They counted me out, they should've counted me in. Then my dad and he told me it'd be there like this. I'm traumatized, ain't gonna lie, a lot of people I mean. She doing good, y'all. Now, y'all, I know this dude ain't gonna lie about me. This man looks so fucking thawed and dusty, bitch. Make it make sense. Yeah, well, I'm still glowing. Ah, how you mad? Ah, how you tell my she, she had too cocky. She need to humble herself. God put her in this position to humble herself. Man, bitch, shut the fuck up, bitch. God, ain't uh, she roasted. Good morning, y'all. This is me to go. TikTok banned my original account. I woke up this morning and it was gone. I need my supporters, my fans and stuff, y'all. I need y'all to reach out to TikTok. Well, they say she a rapper. I ain't never heard of her. But anyways, that's neat to go. Girl, we praying for you. Going to get you some lace fronts. Going to get you some wigs. I know a couple of girls that make some wigs and some lace fronts. We can send them to you because you're going to need them because ooh, that the way, oh, Lord, it just seemed like she done, I don't even, mm. Lord work miracles. He do work miracles. And I really hope that, you know, she gets better because that is that is so sad that your own sister would do something like this to you. And my heart goes out to you. It really, really do. And I'm sending love and energy your way. And I hope you heal and you be better and go chase your dreams, whether it be music, you know, but give God the glory and the praise and the honor. Before you go do that other stuff, give him his time because stuff like this, when stuff like this happen, you know, some inside of you, you know, should click and say, hey, I really need to check my life. And you know what? Let me just encourage y'all today. Let people do what they want to do. Stop telling them something. If you starting to tell somebody something and, and you see they getting mad. Just let it go. Just let it go. Don't keep going on with it. Because you got to understand, at some point in your life, you cannot be caring about what other people got going on if they don't care about what's going on in their own lives. And I just come to that, 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 that place in my life that, you know, I give my friends advice and I tell them what to do, you know, or what they should do when they ask me. Or if I hear something and I know they wanted my advice, I'm going to give you this advice, but I'm not going to keep repeating and repeating and telling you this person not good for you. Okay, well, you told me this. This is what happened. This is what I would do if it was me. Or come on, man. You know, like I had a friend and I don't mind talking about it because we're not friends no more, but I had a dude used to be cool and he used to always ask me about my blog, like how I started the blog how you monetize the blog and, and stuff like this, but he wanted stuff to happen overnight. And I'm like, bro, money is just not going to fall out of the sky overnight like that. Unless you just hit the lot. You just, but look at your odds and your chances. But at the end of the day, you know, people live good because they have worked so long 10, 20 years, about to be, reti be retired. They could be 50 and 40 going out, you know, cruising stuff and living their life while other people that's 40 and in their 50s still working. But at the end of the day, we all grown and let people do what they want to do. Let people do what they want to do. Just let them do what they want to do. If they get in trouble, that's on them. You don't talk. You don't say what you had to say. You don't gave your advice. Let it go. 
because to keep be something in somebody's head that's doing something totally opposite of what you're telling them or the advice you're giving them, it's not going to do anything but lead to an argument and then lead to you getting shy, you getting stabbed, you getting into a fight, you get acid thrown on your ass. So just let people do that. Ema, thank y'all so much for um, tuning in on tonight. Turn your notifications on. I might be live tomorrow. Thank y'all so much for your support and your love. I really appreciate everybody that sent their cash up in tonight. See, this make you want to go live again. You know, see, if you do good, then you, you okay. The baddest blogger on the cover for about three or four hours. So he can come in, roast with you for about three or four hours. <laughs> like Gerald on our ass, screenshot that shell. Go screen record that shell. Bet you won't see me online begging nobody to pay no bill. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for tuning in on tonight. Support your independent content creators that bring joy to your life every day. You know, um, support black businesses, bitch. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for tuning in tonight. I love y'all, Beat Mob, and uh, keep your notifications on. Peace. <laughs>